Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Rob Griggs. Well, good Saturday afternoon. Yeah, we're picking up some rain showers out there. As a matter of fact, you look out on the Q2 First Interstate ICAM out there just to the southwest of Billings. A couple of showers and uh, some of that's Virga, not quite making it to the ground, but we know from the radar satellite picture there is definitely some rain falling out there. 82 at the moment. We've got some sun and clouds. East winds 12 miles an hour and that barometric pressure falling rapidly as these little waves of weather move through the area. 83, the official high so far today, so not bad, about uh, 11 degrees higher than average. 51 one was the overnight low, uh, nowhere near that record. Wouldn't quite be near that record tomorrow either, but it's going to be in the 90 degree range, that's for sure. You can see the line of showers right now from central Wyoming all the way across the Beartooth of Zorcas, even skirting up towards southwest Montana, uh, Bozeman, Belgrade area. Then there's a few more showers uh, cruising up there. Uh, looks like up out of Hamilton there, just to the east of Missoula. And so there's a pretty good chance of some showers and thunderstorms continuing this evening across western and central Montana. Dew points, I don't see any of them uh, at 60 right now. Of course, 58. Uh, that's pretty close for Missoula and Kalispell. When you start to see those numbers, there is always the potential of concern for stronger weather out there. And of course, there is a marginal risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Wind all the way across the state, most of it associated with passing weather systems, but it's pretty common for, you know, 25 to 35 mile an hour wind gusts uh, around the area at times. Um, here's what's going to be happening for us. We've got another disturbance coming through. It's going to sort of flatten out that ridge of high pressure in the area. A warm day today in play. Now we start to see some of those showers and thunderstorms. Those will uh, pretty much dry up by about six o'clock tomorrow morning. Nice little big cell of weather expected to come through Idaho into western Montana, but the chance for strong to severe thunderstorms shifts off to the east as it gets hot out here across the plains and then that cold front's going to pass through. Interestingly, it's only going to shift the severe weather potential a little bit further to the east and it's not really going to get cold on Monday. It's just going to cool down a bit, but still temperatures will be well above average for this time of year. So we're going to call it a warm day on Monday with a few more of those showers and thunderstorms developing off toward the west. So what's it look like for us here? Well, tonight, once again, you can see in the shade green area, we've got a chance for some isolated thunderstorms. Those are going to be diminishing as we uh, get dark out there tonight. Uh, lows tonight quite warm. Look at this. Uh, 61 degrees for a low for Billings, 60 for a low in Hardin. Everywhere else in the 50s, even Cody will be 57. Red Lodge will be 60 degrees out here across the plains, 53 for Williston, North Dakota, 59 for Miles City, 57 for Rodas. And uh, so that's a pretty warm evening for us. Tomorrow, we see that risk, that marginal risk of strong to severe thunderstorms shifting off just to uh, pretty much the east and northeast of Billings from the line from uh, Roundup Billings and Sheridan North. North Northeast. Looks like uh, it's going to be hot and breezy for us, though. Into the 90s. Good grief. 93 for Broadus and for Hardin. 97 for Forsyth. That's flirting with 100 degrees. And up where you see some of this weather happening up in the northeast uh, corner of the state, temperatures will stay probably just a little bit below 90. Meanwhile, Red Lodge is even going to be sitting at 81 degrees. It'll be a little bit breezy out there for us, too. Uh, after tonight's 61, tomorrow 90 degrees. Now, the record high was set two years, 1936 and 1940. We're forecasting 90, so we're going to come close to that. 82 on Monday, 79 on Tuesday. Then we start to warm back up again into the 80s. Our next best chance of afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms looks to be coming our way for Thursday, Friday and Saturday of next week as once again these highs all stay above average. Overnight lows are going to be above average as well. Casey. All right. Thank you, Rob.